Now, testicular cancer is just like any cancer, um, really in simple terms, in layman's terms, you could define it as um, unchecked uh, growth of cells. Um, and that leads to the buildup of all these um, dangerous cells and that eventually leads to something we call a tumor. So in this diagram, um, you can see that in the testes, this man in this figure has um, a tumor right there um, on that arrow. So that is what we describe as the cancer or uh, the tumor. Now, there are many different ways that you can reduce the size of this tumor or get rid of it completely, namely uh, surgically. Um, and that has a seemingly large success rate in testicular cancer sp specifically. But uh, there is one specific way that can target really how our tumors grow um, from its inception and from its origin and tackle it um, in a different way. Now, again, testicular cancer is, testicular cancer is just excessive out-of-growth cell control in the testicles. And we use the testicles for um, reproduction and... Uh, and the production of hormones and, and others like that. And it's really a result primarily of the failure of the cell cycle to regulate itself. Um, and in this, the p53 gene is a, a big part of that, where the p53 gene is the gene that, in the cell cycle, it goes over all the um, DNA and makes sure there's no problem when the cells are replicated. And if there is a problem, it'll either, uh, well, it'll first stop it and it'll either trigger the apoptosis to occur, or it'll uh, halt the cell cycle and cause it to repair itself. And then it can go on uh, throughout the cell cycle. But in testicular cancer and other types of cancers, um, this p53 gene is suppressed, meaning it's turned off. Now, one of the many cures that deals with the cell cycle and apoptosis and giving that cycle started up again since the p53 gene was suppressed is the cure called cisplatin. So this is primarily just a drug um, injected into a patient's system and it first it binds to the DNA and then what it does it is it, it inhibits replication. So essentially that's just reversing the p53 gene being turned off. So it's essentially turning it on um, and it causes apoptosis because of the cisplatin. Um, and what apoptosis is literally is just cell suicide. It, it's the cell death whenever it's too far gone to repair the DNA. And one of the incredible things about cisplatin is that its cure rate is actually 85%. So uh, testicular cancer is very treatable, fortunately, and um, this is the primary way that we treat it uh, naturally, or not naturally, but uh, through a means to re restart the cell cycle after it's uh, after it has its uh, malfunctions and everything um, when the p53 gene is turned off. So here's a more specific diagram about it that you can see. Um, so once the cisplatin goes in, the replication is inhibited, um, no more cells start to accumulate and then build that cancer anymore. So it's a lot easier to mitigate the effect of the cancer and the tumor and eventually it leads to uh, cell death or DNA repair. And here are my works cited. Thank you very much.